Hello security tubers, you would have heard, uh, today we will be talking about DLL injection. You would have heard multiple times about DLL injection, but today we will be discussing the practical creation of DLL injection and some uses with a demo. The agenda for this is a basic understanding of DLL injection, the code behind DLL injection, a demo and the practical uses and how the future of DLL injection can be done. The word DLL injection makes very clear that we are injecting a DLL into a target process. The idea is simple. To do DLL injection, we basically need three things. The target process, the injector or the loader process and the DLL which will load itself into the target process. Uh, for the sake of the video, I have not explained how we create a DLL. If someone would need to uh, know about it, please write in to us and we could help you in how you can the code the process how to create a DLL also what is the uh, idea behind DLL injection the idea behind DLL injection is very simple the idea is to simply create a new thread in the target process which which will basically call our DLL now I will take it up into uh, this whole process in two steps in a more elaborate way the first step is to create first step is obviously to uh, identify our target process the second step is to get a handle to a target process uh, handle is basically a, a pseudo name to an object which is the process uh, if you would like more information on this I would suggest you read Windows internals books uh, we get the handle to the process through a function called open process next we basically create pointers to the load library and get mod, uh, load library function which is a part of the kernel32.dll through two functions get proc address and get mod module handle we will take both these and store it in a pointer which will basically allow us to run this function the next we create a heap inside the target process with virtual alloc and write into that process by write process memory functions this is a very essential step because the dll injection expects and reads only within its own space because i am sure you would understand that every process inside a windows is an isolated process so we cannot write something in a different uh, heap of a different process and get executed with this so what we are basically doing is creating a heap memory inside the target process and using the write process memory we are writing something to it what is it that we are writing we are writing the arguments which will be required by the uh, load library function which will be called within the next few minutes this what is this argument the arguments are the dll name and the dll location which should be executed by the load library function the most and the crucial step which is the last step is to execute the create remote thread function the create remote thread basically creates a remote thread on the target process what do we ex uh, uh, create the thread with we tell the system to execute the load library function for which we have already created a library now I am sure you also understand load library takes in an argument which is basically the uh, name and the DLL location which we have already written into the process uh, heap which we will be using now. Now once this is being done immediately the load library is being called. The load library calls our DLL inside the process. Bam! We are done. I will now show you the exact code that is there as you would see here this is a very simple piece of code in which i have given a, a definition already of where the dll is stored then the most important functions if you notice here is the get proc address which is basically taking the load library and get module and get process together i have combined both the functions together and stored the return pointer in the variable gp this is the process ID to the process in which we are injecting. I have taken the process ID of this calculator. 
for the demo i am injecting into the calculator process but you could use this to inject into any process then we get the handle to the process using the open process function then we basically create a virtual heap memory allocation in the target process or nothing but inside the calculator process using the virtual lax function next we write into this function if you would notice we are still using the hd the hd here denotes the handle to this process we had used this in both uh, the heap allocation as well as in the write process so by this the memory is allocated inside the process and it is being also written inside the process heap next here we are calling the most important function the create remote thread function in this we are basically interested in the fourth argument which is the gp which is nothing but the load the pointer to the load library function and the arguments to the function are passed in the fifth argument which is rs which is nothing but the location in which the address has been written already or basically the heap address so what are we basically telling in this process execute this function with this arguments basically call our load library with the following arguments once this is done you will basically create a thread inside the target process now let's compile this program I'm going to that location. You would notice I have created a function called uh, injector. I'm sorry, these are the notes to my video. we will compile this injector now you would see my injector.exe is now created now we will inject into the process calculator you see that dead pixel dot org that is basically a message box function which i had written inside the uh, dll which is being called you would also notice injected dll created me dot text this is a file that i have created in i have basically written a function to create a file using the uh, dll and this is the dll which is getting called into the calculator process thank you so much this was basically the dll injection now let's talk about the we get back to my presentation what are the uh, you could attack into targeting processes what are the practical uses you could use this for attacking into target process you could use this for debugging applications antiviruses can use this to monitor or process data in all the processes they uh, that brings a very important topic which is my next point os provided dll injection there is a function called app init which you could google and use app init is a registry key which you could use to put every dll that you want to be called in every process that is created on the windows subsystem you put this dll in the uh, or mention this D, uh, the dll that you want to inject in the app in it it will be automatically called by the operating system in every process it creates this is one of the methods that the antivirus vendors as well as uh, virus writers are effectively using these days uh, applications that use dll injection is uh, echo mirage and you could look at the video in security tube for the functioning of an echo mirage 
uh, a simple line it says is eco mirage can be used to uh, debug or intercept every communication that is sent by received by applications future uh, what we basically plan to do is once the dll injection is done you could you are basically in the same process space as the target process you could then basically use to do multiple uh, attacks against the exe or, or the process sorry or we could plan in something called the hooking a process which could be used for even debugging process uh, the uh, the hooks that we will be discussing in the forthcoming videos are the iat eat hooking inline hooking ssdt hooking and irp hooking thank you so much for listening to me uh,